So right here, there's a person trapped under our truck. We have our search and extraction team there. This is an emergency preparedness and security exercise. It's based on the detonation of an improvised nuclear device by a violent extremist organization. You need to go and take readings. Now, while you're putting that in here, inside that command tent, I can see where everyone is. The communications is to make sure that we all speak the same language. That, of course, drives the incident, because if everyone feels as though they're being properly informed, then everyone performs to the level that we expect them to. Any injuries, any injuries? Left leg, left leg, left leg. You know, after 9-11, first responders in the country went to Congress and said, hey, we need a dedicated communication capability. And what they came up with was FirstNet. We have to make sure that whatever phones we have fulfill not only the voice communication need, but also send and receive data, whether it's photos, video. It's a big game changer. It's reliable, it's dependable, it's very robust, and provides us an interoperability that we didn't have before. It gives us a chance to really explore the equipment and the new technology that FirstNet's bringing forward. It helps us understand new ways to respond to events like this in real life. And it's gonna save lives. Pure and simply, it's gonna save lives.